Do you want to know the secret to winning the 2025 to 2026 VEX IQ competition, mix and match? It's simple. First, you build a cool robot with your friends. Then you have fun driving it around and competing. After that, you're a winner, no matter how many points your bot can score. Hi, my name is Andrew, and I'm a middle school and elementary school robotics coach. Follow for more nerdy robotics and math videos. Now, some of you may be a little bit more competitive than me and want an edge in mix and match. So in this video, I'm breaking down this year's game, and we can work together to define our team's goals for building a great bot. I'm going to share my initial ideas on this year's contest, but I need you to share yours in the comments so together we can plan, design, and build towards a great season. Chapter 1, Decoding the Game, Mix and Match. I was thrilled when I saw the release video for Mix and Match this year. From the colors to the game pieces that look like giant robot parts, I think this game is going to be fantastic. The basic premise of Mix and Match is to lift these red and blue pins as well as the beams to create stacks and deposit those stacks into the various scoring zones. There are a lot of points on the board, and I'll leave it to the students to develop their game strategy, but I'm going to offer some thought starters on what I think a good robot should be able to do for this contest. Based on what I see in this game, I would need a robot to perform five main functions, and I'm going to walk you through each one. So let's get moving. Chapter 2. Driving. First and foremost, we need our robot to drive well. This is a given, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to go astray. And I will say, Mix and Match has a pretty crowded rink with all the game pieces on the floor that we'll need to maneuver around. What do you think would be the optimal length and width for a robot in this contest? Let me know down below. Not only does our bot need to move quickly and turn well, but it needs to support whatever other mechanisms we decide to build onto it. And speaking of other mechanisms, Chapter 3, Grab the Pins. We have some interesting and whimsical game pieces we'll need to pick up and mix and match. My gut feeling is that we need some sort of claw, although I've already seen Ben Lipper do it a little bit differently, link to his video down below. Also, the hero bots in the mix and match video have some nice dexterous claws of their own. While it seems pretty straightforward to grab these pins, we could get creative. And if you look closely, the pins have little openings on top that could be utilized for grabbing from the inside out, but it could make them more difficult to lift too. I also think that we should have some sort of release function on a potential claw to let go of the pins or a clever enough design that lets them go naturally. Honestly, grabbing these pins looks pretty easy, especially when compared to the other main game element that could be grabbed. Chapter four, grab the beams. The beams in Mix and Match are where I imagine a lot of teams will get tripped up. These beams are pretty long and pretty low to the ground, so you would need a very reliable claw to scoop them up, or something that comes down from above like an amusement park claw game, but hopefully a lot more reliable than those things. Or maybe there's something that could be better at picking this shape up altogether. They do have nice big holes in the middle too. This is going to be a tough one, and even tougher than grabbing the beams is lifting them. And speaking of lifting, chapter five, lifting. We need to be able to lift our game pieces very high. That big old stack in the middle of the arena is worth a lot of points and I want our bots to reach the sky. I'm thinking a reverse double bar four bar lift would be a good place to start for this. I'm linking a nice video on the reverse double four bar lift down below, or let me know if you have any other good resources for building these, or any other ideas altogether. I've never built a double reverse four bar lift before, so personally I'm super excited to try it out, but one thing I'm not as excited to try is the final function that our robot should have. Chapter 6, Inversion. In the mix and match release video, you can clearly see the robot holding pins upside down in order to insert them into the beam for a lot of points. In order to do this, I'm thinking that we would need our claw to have some sort of rotation function. I'm not quite sure which way it should rotate, and I'm very concerned about potentially tangling motor wires, but with the help of you, maybe we can figure something out. And honestly, this is the last priority in our robot build, um, because if we can solve the other four objectives, I think we're in a pretty good space. So those are my five goals for a robot build this season. We have driving well, grabbing the pins, grabbing the beams, lifting very high, and inversion. If we can build a bot like that, it will be a fantastic season. 
Also, the bots that are in the hero video, and I assume will be the Vex IQ hero bots, look pretty great too, so you can't really go wrong there, and I might have students just start with the instruction build. I'd love to hear your thoughts on my goals, and hear what you think the robots should be able to do, and what resources you'll be learning, or how you imagine your own robots. Like and subscribe for more nerdy math and robotics content, and I will see you soon.